Hey guys and welcome back, this is Dr. Deuce bringing you another set of great music tech tips. Now today we'll be looking at the fantastic Time and Pitch Machine engine found in the Logic Pro X Audio Editor. The Time and Pitch Machine engine offers fantastic solutions for speeding up and slowing down sections of audio as well as changing the pitch up and down whilst maintaining a great quality output. This is also known as time stretching or time compression. Let's get started. Now to get to the time and pitch machine, you need to double click on the audio file and make sure that you've selected the file tab. Now the first thing I want to demonstrate is how we speed up this piece of audio whilst maintaining the same pitch. Now let's have a quick listen to the audio file which is by the fantastic Ed Sheeran. Notice that the tempo is at 83 BPM. I am a poor wayfaring stranger Traveling through this world alone And there's no sickness, toil or danger In that bright land to which I go Now the first thing I want to do is speed up this piece of audio but maintain the same pitch. So what we do, make sure everything's selected, go to function, time and pitch machine. Now here I will make sure that the mode is set to free and not classic. If we set it to classic then the pitch will change. The algorithm I'm going to stick to universal. Our original tempo is 83 BPM. We want to take it up to 90. So let's type 90 in there and then process and paste. We need to now change the tempo of the logic project to 90. As you can see, the region is still eight bars in length. I am a poor wayfaring stranger traveling through this world alone. And there's no sickness, toil or danger In that bright line to which I go Okay, so that's speeding things up. We could use the same principle if we wanted to slow down this piece of audio. So the next thing I want to do is change the pitch of this audio file. But first of all, I'm going to return to our original tempo. So edit, undo. Okay. And as you can see here, the length of the audio file has changed. So we're going to return to 83 BPM. Okay, back to eight bars. Now this bit's really important. You must change tempo back to the original tempo if you're going to make any further changes. Make sure you do that. Okay, so now I'm going to change the pitch. Now this is the section where we transpose the pitch up or down. So I've worked out that this section of the song is in the key of F minor. I am a poor wayfaring stranger traveling through Okay, F minor. Okay, so I want to raise the pitch up by a semitone. If we raise the pitch by one semitone, we move to F sharp. However, if we dropped down by a semitone, we'll move from F to E. Now this interval from F to F sharp or F to E amounts to 100 cents. Okay, so one semitone from there to there is the equivalent to 100 cents or from here to here is minus 100 cents. Okay, hope that makes sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to increase this to 100 cents. Press enter. Now, before we apply the change, I'll just play back a portion. I am a poor wayfaring stranger. Okay, now let's apply the change and you'll hear the difference. I am a poor wayfaring stranger. Okay, now let's drop the pitch by one semitone or minus 100 cents. The first thing we want to do, however, is undo our original change and then change this to minus 100. Enter, process. 
Okay, now let's have a listen. I am a poor, wayfaring stranger Traveling through this world alone Okay, let's go back to the original. Undo. Have a listen. I am a poor, wayfaring stranger Traveling through now the results are fantastic. So as I said, the time and pitch machine is a fantastic little tool that allows you a great deal of flexibility. It allows you to speed things up or slow things down without affecting the pitch or changing the pitch up or down without affecting the speed. It's a great little tool and I'm sure you'll be able to make great use of it. One other thing I'd say is if you're going to use it across an entire song, and maybe a three minute song, I would highly recommend you chop the song up into smaller sections, maybe process eight bar sections at a time, as I found the quality output is much higher when you do it that way, rather than doing an entire song in one go. Anyway, I really do hope this tutorial has been of benefit to you. And do remember to like, comment and tune in again soon, because there'll be more coming your way. I'm Dr. Deuce. Peace.